The surviving alleged Boston Marathon bombing suspect arrived to a heavily secured federal courthouse on Wednesday. Johar Sarnayev stood in front of the survivors of the bombing and their families and pleaded not guilty to 30 federal charges. For Liz Norton, whose two sons both lost a leg in the attack, the experience of seeing Sarnayev was hard to describe. You know, I actually felt sick to my stomach. It's very emotional for me, so, you know, I, I actually felt... I'm angry, but I actually feel really, I don't know, I feel sorry for everybody. I was upset when the sister cried because it just made me want to, I don't know. The injuries Sir and I have sustained in the manhunt were still evident in court, his face still swollen. He appeared nonchalant, almost bored when hearing the counts against him, counts that included murder and the use of a weapon of mass destruction. If in fact there is a death penalty phase and prosecution to this, we are in all likelihood going to see a much longer trial. Mildred Valverde has dealt with a myriad of medical problems since being harmed in the marathon blast. And seeing Sarnaya face to face for the first time was difficult, but something she had to do. I just want, you know, all the people to know, like, especially my son, that he doesn't have to be afraid that, you know, life goes on. As Sarnaya arrived, he was greeted by a small group of supporters. Inside, one of his sisters sobbed, and both were later swarmed by the media. Across the street from the courthouse, MIT police officers stood in support of their fallen comrade Sean Collier and all of the nearly 300 people harmed in the attack. Sarnaya will return to court on September 23rd. David Martin, Associated Press.